<sighs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful morning in the Alaskan wilderness with Red Lantern. Fork in the road. Where to? Where we're gonna go ahead and go, ha. ha, and push our way deeper into the beautiful wilderness as we do our best to try to understand the very last story of the very last sled dog that we have with oh, us. You pop see that? It's a caribou. Which is also going to mean that we're going to need to come over here and maybe watch this caribou and get a little bit of food from it. This is when we whisper, right? All right, let's try a caribou call. So, yeah, they just, uh... All right, let's shriek at the caribou. <laughs> okay, no don't we'll shriek at the inside. caribou. Shriek at the elk, grunt at the caribou. I got it mixed okay, up. Okay, I'm back. Okay, that was hilarious. What an amazing way to shopping. start the day, right? <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I wonder what would happen if I shrieked like that at a squirrel. It would probably scare it away to the point where Chomper wouldn't need to worry about it. But all right, guys, we've done it. We have finally found Slayer's story, and I feel fantastic about that. I'm so proud of her. She faced her fears, and she's no longer afraid of elk, which is just amazing. Oh, and what's this? Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Um, let's check these bunnies out. I'm kind of curious. Hey, little bunny. Hi, little guy. I should probably let Chomper go after you. You're not going to be good bait, and I don't want to waste a bullet on you. Um. All right, Chomper. On my call. I think the bunny's going to escape, though. Oh, sometimes he catches All it, right, sometimes it, he doesn't. Chomper. All right, let's go. Good try, Chomps. The pups do okay? I think we're done here. Well, I'm really working up an appetite for nothing early in this morning, like shrieking at the caribou and randomly chasing the bunnies. I think we're going to need to focus a little bit, especially if we're going to find more of our missing oh, sled here. Now let's go... Gee. Maybe more into the forest. And especially if we're going to start figuring out what Gail's story is. So we have now found out uh, all... What's going on up there, Stilton? Hey, what Stilton, do you see something? Oh, it's the ptarmigan! Hey, I mean, that's good for the dogs. Sorry, little oh, guys. Hello. Free food. Oh, they're so cute! Alright, let's go ahead and let the dogs go for them. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Sorry, ptarmigan. Okay, go! Sheesh. Uh, actually, y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe I wonder how many... Try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't eat eggs. I think I, I like these ptarmigans. <laughs> they all look very full. Thanks. They got some food. But I wonder how many eggs a ptarmigan lays You're every breeding now, season. Right? Some of Let's the research I've been doing since we have been here in the Alaskan wilderness, really making this place our home for so long, has taught me so much about the animals that make their home here. And the ptarmigan really love to be up in mountainy areas, kind of near the tree lines of mountains where the trees start being not being able to grow up any higher up the mountain just due to the environment there. Away, but it's here. What should mm -hmm. we do? Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, should I check it out? Okay. I do have five bullets. All right, let's check it out. Okay, Pop, stay nice and quiet. Let's see if it'll come closer. There we go. Now I think we're ready to be able to do this hunt. All right, let's just get this rifle ready. Okay, careful. We really want it to line up just right. Well, ah, it's yes. tonight. Let's take this meat back to the sled. All right, I'm glad that we were keeping an eye on that. Hey, look what I found. Some more food. Oh, I'm starving. Four bullets left. Let's be safe out there. Huh. All right, let's go, pups. Oh, and we'll make a camp at the next safe spot. I kind of need to rest. get some of this food to eat, actually. So let's go ahead and start a little fire and have breakfast. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Ah, but all right. And actually, guys, I have been learning so much about the Alaskan wilderness, working on our field notes that we have at the end of every one of these adventures. And is that... It looked like a fishing pole was propping up our, our tent for just a second. I mean, you know, if it works, it works. Hey, Gail! 
Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Do you want to help us out? I'm going to try to get extra tired today. That's our goal, is to unlock Gil's story. So, yeah, that's where we were, guys. I'll tell you more about the cool facts I've been learning about the Alaskan wilderness in a little bit. And actually, we have a lot of you who've actually been to Alaska or live there. And I would love to hear some of the stories that you have to share. One day, it is definitely a place that I hope that Chips and I will be able to travel. And of course, I'll be taking all of you guys with us. Ah, oh, just think about all the amazing vlogs we could have. What if I see a ptarmigan in person for the first time? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to eat it. Perks of being vegan, I guess. But all right, so let's see. We have now discovered all of the dog's stories. From Stilton, we've got Barkley, we have got Slayer, and we've also got Iggy Chomper <laughs> right over here. We even found his story once, which people said you couldn't find, but we found it. We've got Chomper, Iggy. We have, uh, let's see. Berkeley Bodega, and we have got Stilton. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, I know all the dogs and I love all the dogs. The fact that I am currently forgetting one of them. Uh, let's see, Chomper, it, there's nine all together if you include Chomper. Chomper, Stilton, Slayer, Iggy, Bodega, Berkeley, Gale, Finn. Hmm. And you guys can completely be disappointed in me uh, that I don't remember the last dog. But point is, I love them all. And we have discovered all of their stories except now for Gail's over here. So she's hiding her story. And I think it might have something to do with if we're extremely tired and she's able to pull us along when we're exhausted behind the fire would be nice. The sled. Oh, I can't wait. So we're going to see if possibly getting right, really, really some... snoozy will unlock her story. And then we will have basically, in my opinion, 100 percented everything that we can do here. Not completed the journal 100 hundred percent, but maybe that'll just leave us open for the future. Oh, what if we actually do some streams sledding together? That could be a lot of fun. Whoops. Hey, Gail. Pets, pets, pets. Did you want some more pets? I was trying to feed you, but instead we ended up giving you pets. Ah, you know, looking at Gil's face, you just can't help but feel cheerful. Even when my ribs are Good bruised time. from musk ox down, or moose possibly, like, ramming right into our sled, I just always feel really hopeful when I see Gil. Like, maybe everything won't be so dramatic. Alright, you guys ready? And we made it back with a med pack to the cabin last time, which back means on the trail? that Iggy... Let's get back out there. Is no longer wounded. We have now wrapped up our little role play of Iggy being wounded because we were able to take her some new medicine. And we can go ahead and have the, the road. maybe the grand Me finale. Too. Let's go G. G. Maybe, like, if not the forever grand finale, but maybe, like, the grand finale of some runs for a while could be trying to find Iggy and Chomper's special moment. There's something really Looks relaxing like got about a being here. Meal, pups. Okay, look, I should probably go ahead and hunt it because we're low on food again. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. All right. Wait for it. It'd be really nice if we could find the gun cleaner again. But we'll just have to wait and see. And bounce and wait. That almost lined up perfectly. Uh, is it just me or is it harder to hit the deer than it is the others? All right, here we go. Come on, please. Almost, almost, almost. Hey, perfect there. shot. Which is good because I'm getting lightheaded. No <gasps> one has to starve tonight. God, that's a terrible. We're not going to talk about starving. We're just going to gather the deer, hey, be very grateful to it, food. and Three put bullets. it away. Let's go, Chomper. Though with so many predators, like our dogs, us. I just wonder, like, can the deer replace themselves quickly enough? Deer only have, like, what, one or two babies a year? If we're eating, like, a deer, a caribou, and an elk a day, how do we make sure their numbers don't thin down too much? A lot of questions. Oh, is that? Oh, great. A squirrel. <sighs> Please don't see Come it, Come on, Chomps. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. All right. Um, let's see. Should we check it out? Okay, we're gonna check it out because Chomper wants to chase, but he has see, conquered his prey drive. His life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. I should Chomper, shriek at him. On the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? I absolutely think that I should go ahead 
and we should actually have a moment where we shriek at the squirrel just like we did at the caribou and scare the bejesus out of it. But for now, go for it, Chomps. Oh. Oh no. Well, Chomper, you downed it in one gulp. Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full <laughs> belly back on the trail. Come on. And I hope having him find his prey drive will actually help you know, us out Chomp, in the future. You can't just follow me whenever you want. Hey, look, I Let's invited him on that. It was a squirrel. Arch nemesis. I understand. In fact, I should probably be adding squirrels into uh, some of the areas where Chomper in our Sims 4 snowy legacy in uh, that little adventure we're, we're doing. Where to? Uh, let's go G. G. But I should probably be adding no, in some we're, ambient we're squirrels to run around well. the yard there. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. Chomper, you've truly unlocked your prey drive. But we're making our way. All right. I mean, he was a city dog. He needs to know how to survive out here in the wilds. What if something happens to us? I could slip under this ice and just vanish into a popsicle in no time. I want him to be able to survive on his own. Muskox? Muskox? Well, there's an owl somewhere nearby. How about no? I have had enough of that owl. I am not going to be fooled by you again! Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. So just to run by moose smacking to make sure I know where I am, huh? Really? Really? I think I just have to risk the bad luck. I was Let's go, Chomper. completely focused on the fact that if I ignored the owl, come on, Stilton. If I ignored the owl, I thought we would be able to get away from it this time. But oh, apparently Lord. the owl and the moose are just working in cahoots with one another. Ah. <sighs> Here, pups, I'm gonna let one of you decide where we go next because that is just absolutely ridiculous. All right, and Gil pick. Oh, we're going to plan. No, 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 Everything don't panic, don't panic, rushed. little musher. We're fine. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna find our own unique way of being able to survive. That's kind of what life is all about: finding our own unique way among all of the we're life alive, scripts that together. people thought That's what I wanted, right? that to they wouldn't to give you. Alive to figure out what I could actually handle. There we go. Alright, well, we're gonna see how this works. But yeah, I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I'll let the dogs decide again, because I wonder if letting Gail decide is going to help us out. But seriously, you guys, I. <sighs> I think we can find our way. Yeah, look at her! She can't be stopped! Maybe we just need to give her the free reins and let her pull us along, maybe more or less along the whole way. That's awesome! What was this? Looks like we've found someone's dinner. Nothing for you to chase this time, Chomper. Um, wow. This looks pretty fresh. We should be quick if we're gonna do anything. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna salvage to two of these quick. meat with you an axe. Precise. Sometimes you gotta learn from the hunters and scavengers. Nice! That doesn't happen very worth often. It. We've got some more meat. Let's be safe out there. Not bad. I like it. Let's go, guys! Excellent. <laughs> now we're feeling a little tired, too, but I think Gail will be able to kind of pull us along and maybe make some good decisions for us. We'll stop for some food in What's just a little there? bit. You see something, Sultan? Oh, what do you, you see, Sultan? Checking out. Sultan, what do you think? Good looking out, buddy. Oh, did Don't he find more charm again? Trick you. Okay. Now, what should we do? There's one in the tree, not worth wasting a bullet on. Sultan. All right, Sultan. You saw it. You catch it. On my call. Okay. Hey, he did it! Good catch, Stilton. Well, at least one of us won't go hungry. He's That's really good at that. Us. Let's go check on the others. And wipe those feathers from your lips. Chomper might get jealous. <laughs> I really love how all the pups all have right. such great relationships. Everyone back in their harnesses? All right, let's mush on. I love it. Come on, Gail. We're going to find out your story let's one way or another. As soon as we can. For now, let's go ahead we and camp? slow down for just a second. Get a little bit of food. This looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have the fire starter yet, but hopefully we'll find it soon. And maybe some pets for Gail and pets for Stilton. Oh, let's get those pets in, buddy. I'm sure you're going to be able to guide us to some sort of wonderful story, Gail. I feel confident about it. 
Slayer, you're doing so good. Pets, pets, pets. Good girl. I'm so proud of her for being able to face her fears. Ah, it was so hard and it required so much luck to be able to unlock her story. Truly, you guys, it felt like a huge accomplishment. And Barkley, you're being awful quiet this time around, but maybe we'll stumble Wait, upon your bark Barkley? on all this too. Good boy. And then let's come over and let's see how you're doing, Stilton. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Good boy. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these and a bit of a scratch here. He's a good boy. And Chomper, I don't want you to feel left out before we go ahead and have some snacks. I shouldn't have brought you out. No, 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 no. We don't need to look. We just had this great speech with Chomper over a fish last time about how coming out here has actually allowed us to at least get moving on a life that otherwise felt stuck. I am not going to dwell on the negative with him. But all right. Fire would be nice. I'm going to go ahead. Bark works wonderful. Use the last little bit of our birch bark to get a little bit of a fire I'm going. Ready to cook some food. So that we can have something to eat for ourselves. And then we'll give the pups some food and hopefully find either a fire starter or some birch for next time. Food time. Chow down, pups. Here you go, guys. You've been very good dogs. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you could, do please leave a like for Stilton and his amazing ptarmigan finding skills. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, I hope you can get moving on whatever you felt stuck on, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.